Before I get started with Iron Man 3, a word first about the MCU Phase 1 discussion. It has been delayed by a week or two. I apologize for the inconvenience this may cause anybody. Who cares? But that being said, now is the time for Iron Man 3. As far as that movie goes, I have only two predictions. One, that Rhodey will be in, in his Iron Man suit. Apparently it has a different name, but I already forgot what it was. And my other prediction is that it will have something to do with probably Stark Industries and New York getting halfway destroyed and like trillions of dollars worth of collateral damage money. Other than that, I have no predictions, so uh, let's just get straight into it from there. I am excited to start Phase 2. I know it's more interconnected than Phase 1. It has a bigger budget and everything's supposed to be better about it, so let's go. That sounds extremely homoerotic, and I really don't like the way the guy looks. One thing I gotta say though, dude, Tony Stark's transitions to Iron Man get better and better with each movie. Please don't tell me though, this is, is this just gonna be another terrorist thing, like the first one? It's better than the second movie, but not by much. They're pretty strict about their ways. Does my boy have PTSD? No sign of cardiac anomaly or unusual brain activity. Are they getting a PTSD from that? Dude. Plus one for this movie if they're giving him PTSD. I was not expecting that. So are they not going to address the New York thing though? Are they just going to say f*** that and say here's a new terrorist for you? For any women watching, potentially, step one to piss off your husband. That. <laughs> oh. I'm going to bed. Come on. Come on. Hey, I admit it. My fault. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta intervene here. <laughs> Not his fault. He's capitulating when he shouldn't be. Your f***ing fault, Pepper. When it comes to basic intelligence, she's smart as f But when it comes to relationship shit, she's a f***ing moron as of right now. Nothing's been the same since New York. You experience things. PTSD. Over and you still can't explain them. Damn movie, I didn't want you to skip that. What the f***? I was looking forward to seeing that shit. No, I knew I wasn't going to see it. Although I was expecting, I was expecting some kind of like 30 second foggy like scene though. Ooh, dude, this is fucking okay. No bullshit. This is good so far. Here's a little holiday greeting I've been wanting to send to the Mandarin. Here's my home address. Malibu Point. <laughs> the fucking stones on that motherfucker. Oh, fuck. We're supposed to be on total security lockdown. Come on, I threatened a terrorist. Who is that? <laughs> On her? Oh! This is what happens when you make speeches off of impulse instead of logic. As badass as that speech genuinely was, it was also fucking stupid. <laughs> What are you pulling up, her? Dude, just take any one of them. They're five of those fuckers. That's one. That's two. When you give a terrorist your motherfucking address, you gotta assume shit's gonna go wrong. Jarvis. And everything relies on Jarvis, so now he doesn't have a suit. <laughs> you know, it would be badass to have your own personal AI. But what about Siri? Siri's not your own personal AI. You did just wander into somebody's shit. What the f*** is that? That's actually a good idea. Maybe I'll build one. Getting ideas from a f***ing child. <laughs> you know what keeps going through my head? Where's my sandwich? Haven't <laughs> <laughs> I told you that I have an anxiety issue? Are the bad guys in Rose Hill? Jesus f***ing f***. Kid, f***ing shut the f***. Kid, shut the f up. Oh, man, you did it, didn't you? You 
happy now? What did I say? What the hell was that? The f you think? You got pepper, motherfucker. Don't f with it. Actually, I am. Homeland Security. We good here? Get this woman. I'm willing to wage that's not Homeland Security. It's like they're dancing. Okay, these people are not f human. That didn't stop them though. Okay, if that's all it takes to stop these guys, then I'm f disappointed. Because that means that once he gets his suit back, <laughs> gotta do it. <laughs> He has to. There's no way he can't. <laughs> now, if he doesn't pick up and just shoots him anyway... Yeah, there we go. Hi. Watch one of them be there. Shit. <laughs> it just... For anyone who might think to themselves it's kind of bullshit the way that this happened, I would like to um, say that sometimes even the best of us might get a little bit off track if we're going through a lot of shit. So... This feels like a video game! Yeah. I didn't tell him anything. Nothing. He really didn't. <laughs> so my understanding is that this guy wants revenge because he didn't meet him on a f***ing rooftop, which was important to him. I know that's a bit reductive, but that's basically what it is. So basically this guy's just a psychopath, gotcha. <laughs> Aw, she does care. Or not. I mean, she does, but... You're a maniac. No, you're a <clears throat> No, you're a maniac. Afternoon, gentlemen. <clears throat> oh, my fuck. Please, for love of fuck. Please, for love of fucking shit. Don't make this another fucking Iron Man versus fucking Iron Man fucking final battle. Fucking please. Oh, my. If they're setting that up, I'm so fucking disappointed. I really f hope it's not the setup here. Three, four, shut up. Five, four, three, four, three. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. One piece at a time. <laughs> oh my f <laughs> That's it. You're about to be drawn into the Mandarin campaign, and we got to get you somewhere safe as soon as possible. Mr. Stark, I'm about to eat. I love how the Secret Service isn't doing anything. <laughs> Everything okay, sir? No. Couldn't be better. He is in on it. Colonel Rhodes, glad to see you can make it. That is not a proper salute, nor is that. I gotta be honest, this whole villain plot is f***ing stupid, so I don't even care. The president. You're too late! He's not here. Walk away from that, you son of a bitch. Thank God that dumbass is dead. You might want to hold on. He's the only chance you've got. Easy. See? 11 more to go. <laughs> ah, smart. Come on, come on, come on. Grab something. Grab his dick if you have to. <laughs> I think they all made it. Oh, thank God. Yeah, oh my god, that was even him. This is a movie that thinks it knows things, but it doesn't. 
And I still don't like the villain at all. And getting everybody in the world to hate you, including every country there is. This guy is f***ing stupid. Is, is that? Yep. Two Iron Man suits. Yep. Oh. Oh my god. Oh shit. Yeah, you guys are f***ed. <laughs> I mean, go to the president, though, because they can still easily get him and use him as leverage. Ooh. Is that hot in there? Okay, I'll say this. As much as I hate this guy, and when I say hate him, I don't even mean, like, oh, he's a, he's a good villain. I hate him. I mean, like, he, he's, he, it's idiotic. Like, he, he's, he's terrible. Um, like, I, I'm honestly embarrassed for Disney slash Marvel that they made this piece of shit a villain in the first place. Like, he's honestly garbage in every imaginable way. But, like... So what I said earlier about like him, you know, the Iron Man for his Iron Man thing, I hate that at this point because it's overplayed to f But if their plan is to make it so that, you know, that he can't fight with the Iron Man suit because he can disable it, I'm on board with that. Did they straight just f***ing kill Pepper? Or is she alive because she has those powers? If they f***ing killed Pepper? Dude, Disney's f***ing hardcore. Regardless of if she's dead, he thinks she's dead. Smart motherfucker. <clears throat> or he's not, somehow. Which is complete bullshit. Cause explosions kill these motherfuckers, but whatever. No shit. I knew that ever since they revealed Trevor. I figured she wasn't dead, but she has powers now. So the first explosion arbitrarily, well I shouldn't say arbitrarily, nonsensically didn't kill the f even though it really should have. So that way Pepper can have her moment with her new powers. Instead of just following the rule of killing the bitch in one, hit, in one explosion, and then having another way that was established earlier on in the movie for her to be able to display her powers. But you do you, movie. I mean, whatever the fuck. You're a pal, the mechanic. Although you did just break into that kid's home in order to do that, but I guess so long as they appreciate it, it doesn't count as trespassing. Alright, well, uh, that was a weird post credit scene that had nothing to do with anything, but alright. Well, allow me to dispense some thoughts about, that I had about this movie. Allow me to start with the bad, because that'll be easier. The only bad thing I think about this movie was the villain. He was egregious in every way. He was really dumb. Uh, his motivations were extraordinarily idiotic and overplayed out, and his whole plan was just astronomically just... I don't even know, have a word for it. Abysmal. But aside from the villain, I liked everything else. The general plot that doesn't have to do with the villain, I loved. The character stuff, I loved. I, I genuinely did. Tony Stark shit, Pepper shit was all amazing. The camera work was very good. Tony Stark's technology is up there. Uh, the way Tony Stark suits up is fantastic. Every action scene that does not have to do with the villain, I mean the main villain, was amazing. The music and the soundtrack was also good. Th those, I'm, I'm not going to play them on the YouTube version because copyright issues. Who, um, I'm going to skip them there. But dude, those songs at the beginning, in case anybody's forgotten, Blue Dabba Dee Dabba Die, Mambo Number no. 5, those songs are the shit. <laughs> But yeah, so all the, I say that the positives outweigh the negatives for me personally. So as far as I suppose giving this game a final grading, or I suppose a grading for now, I can't give it too high of a grade because the villain was such absolute garbage. But considering the positives as well, I feel comfortable giving this movie... I'm gonna match, you know, I'm, what I'm gonna do... I'm going to match this movie with Thor. I'm going to give this movie a solid B. If you have any thoughts on this movie, feel free to leave them. You know, like, all that other shit. And then, um, yeah. Next will either be the Phase 1 discussion, if it's done by then. If not, I believe Thor The Dark World is next. May or may not be. Who knows? Well, people know. Anyway, that's it though for this one. Tootaloo.